What's up everyone? I uh, just thought I'd make a quick video here and share a few things I've watched recently and really enjoyed. I feel like I've seen a lot of really good stuff lately and I've just always enjoyed sharing what I'm into, whether it's music, movies or whatever. Uh, I've always really loved movies, documentaries, that kind of thing. It's just how I like to spend my downtime and you know, I also like to try and analyze them and, and work out how they've been made, how they've been lit and all that. You know, see what my favorite directors and DPs have done. And yeah, I just thought it might be useful because there's been plenty of times where I just want to chill and watch something and you know, if there's like six different streaming services, I don't know what to watch. I end up just watching trailers and, and reading reviews and not actually watching anything. So here's a few things uh, I think are definitely worth checking out. This one's actually an Australian film. I'd never heard of it. It's called Baby Teeth. I just kind of stumbled across it one day, uh, ended up watching it and just thinking it was amazing. It's a comedy drama kind of setup. Uh, I'm trying to work out how to do this without sort of giving too much away, but it's about a terminally ill teenage girl and her relationship with her mum and dad and this boy that she meets. So it's, you know, a super like heavy story, but it's got all these kind of like light-hearted moments in between that kind of break it up and just kind of give it this uh, unique sort of quirky charm that I really enjoyed. And there's this one scene in particular uh, where the main character uh, plays her violin with her mum on piano and I just thought it was amazing. And uh, yeah, it definitely left me feeling something in the end. So I would uh, I'd definitely recommend checking it out. It's probably the one movie on this list uh, everyone should definitely go watch. Portrait of a Lady on Fire. This is one of those movies I've heard a lot of good things about. It's really well regarded. Uh, finally got around to watching it. And it's about an artist who's commissioned to paint a wedding portrait set back in 1770, I think, in France. Uh, and the subject doesn't want to pose, so she tries to paint it without her knowing. It turns into this love story. I'll just leave it at that. It's a great movie. Uh, one of the things I enjoyed about it most is just the look of it, because it's, you know, it looks and feels like a painting. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. And, you know, that obviously that's intentional. Uh, you know, it helps transport you back to that, that time period. Uh, but when I think about just the level of sort of skill and craftsmanship it takes to uh, create a look like that, it's just it kind of blows my mind. They did an amazing job with it. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the film. It's, you know, sometimes I find those kind of period movies can be a little bit, I find them personally a little bit boring sometimes, but uh, yeah, not with this one. So I think that's a testament to how uh, good the movie is. I've seen you skating. You're pretty shit. So I had to chuck a Netflix series in here. Uh, this one's called End of the Fucking World. There's two seasons of it, and it's kind of this dark comedy uh, deal, which is not something I'd normally be into at all. And it was funny because I started watching the show and I just, like, <laughs> it just wasn't doing it for me. I wasn't into it at all, but it looked so good. Uh, like, the look of this show is just, that's to my taste on point. Like that's the style that I like. And I kept watching it for that alone and it just gradually grew on me uh, to the point where I got to the second season. I ended up just really enjoying it. I've actually watched the whole thing twice now. Uh, I thought the acting was really good. And like I said, it looks uh, incredible. It's kind of boy and girl. It's just weird, twisted, messed up love saga thing. Uh, yeah, it's unique, I think, and, and great. So I recently discovered Maceo Frost. Uh, he's a director and I looked through all his work and really enjoyed it. So a couple of recommendations from him. Uh, the first one is an ASICS commercial uh, featuring one of their sponsored runners, Dewey Griffiths. And I say it's commercial, but it's got like a really nice story to it. I think it's kind of like a portrait of him, I would sort of describe it as. And just kind of like his grassroots, blue collar sort of approach to running. Uh, you know, in the marathon at a pretty high level. So yeah, I thought it was brilliant. It looks incredible. Beautiful cinematography combined with running. Doesn't get much better for me. So I was pretty stoked on it. Mon jour. This one's a short film called Daughter of the Sea. And it's about a fisherman and his relationship with his daughter and the ocean. And it's just, I, I just loved it. It's in French, but it's subtitled. Uh, and it's just 
I mean, again, like just visually so pleasing for me. I'd be freaking stoked if I could make something halfway as good as this one day. Uh, and it kind of, I guess when I watch it, uh, to me it's sort of about how things change but, you know, stay the same through generations and how things are handed down and, and sort of how beautiful that is. And, uh, yeah, I just thought it was <laughs> really good, uh, really well done. And I just got a lot of um, respect for that because I know how hard it is to do. Uh, they did an amazing job. So... Uh, I really recommend checking that one out. It's a really good short. So I'll wrap it up there. If you do go and watch any of these, uh, let me know what you think. And feel free to recommend me some things to watch in the comments. Uh, and let me know if this was any good. <laughs> because I can always do more of these uh, if they are useful. So that's it. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. And I'll see you again soon. See ya. T minus six, five, four.